story to tell. On June 6, 1944, the D-Day took place and invasion of France by Allied forces as part of the process of ending the Second World War in Europe. It was codenamed Operation Neptune and it aimed to push Nazi Germany out of the occupied country. A large number of soldiers landed by sea on five beaches on northern France. Just after midnight of the June 6, aerial bombardment of enemy positions on the Normandy coast began. That night, more than 5,300 tons of bombs were dropped. Special Operations troops were parachuted into the country to attack bridges and secure vital infrastructure targets before the landings. They also sent information about German positions backed by Pigeon. These Allied soldiers were transported by Douglas C-47 Sky Trains and C-53 Sky Troopers. The lead plane of this main force was the C-47A, bearing the name That's Our Brother. The Douglas C-47 Sky Train or Dakota is a military transport aircraft developed during 1940s. The Douglas Skytrain is without doubt one of the most famous and most successful designs of aircraft in history. It was originally known as the Douglas Sleeper Transport and has been known as DC-3 in civilian versions. Years after the design's first flight on December 17, 1935, the aircraft is still in service throughout the world. It is a design which has truly changed history. The C-47 differed from the civilian DC-3 in numerous modifications, including being fitted with a cargo door, hoist attachment, and strengthened floor, along with a shortened tail cone for glider towing shuckers and an astrodome in the cabin roof. During World War II, the armed forces of many countries used the C-47 and modified DC-3s for the transport of troops, cargo, and wounded. The U.S. naval designation was R-40. More than 10,000 aircraft were produced in Long Beach and Santa Monica, California, and Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Between March 1943 and August 1945, the Oklahoma City plant produced 5,354 C-47s. The specialized C-53 Skytrooper troops transport started production in October 1941 at Douglas Aircraft Santa Monica plant. It lacked the cargo door, hoist attachment, and reinforced floor of the C-47. Only 380 aircraft were produced in all because the C-47 was found to be more versatile. The C-47 has a basic appearance, a twin-engine low-wing monoplane with retractable landing gear, tubular fuselage, and single vertical tail surface. The pilot and co-pilot sat at the extreme front of the fuselage with an observation blister directly behind the cockpit. Entry exit doors were situated at the forward and aft sides of the fuselage for alerting troops and exiting paratroopers. In service, the design was noted for its ability to withstand extremely miles of damage and still keep its flying qualities above her. Powered by two 1,200 horsepower Pratt and Whitney radial engines, the C-47 had a wingspan of 29 meters a length of 19.6 meters and a crew of three, included pilot, co-pilot, and low master or navigator. It had a cruise speed of 250 kilometers per hour and a range of 2,600 kilometers. Some C-47 were VIP transports and a few had sleeping accommodations. 
but the vast majority were fitted with medium bench seats for 28 fully armed troops. The normal payload was 2,300 kilograms, but the C-47 could carry as much as 2,700 kilograms or even 3,200 kilograms in an emergency. The spacious rear fuselage cargo doors could accommodate ships, light trucks, or anything else of equivalent bulk and weight, and they could be opened and closed in flight to drop ships or cargo by parachute. This later capability and its spacious cabin made the C-47 far and away the best parachute delivery aircraft of the world. Finally, the C-47 could tow two CG-4 Waco Astro Gliders or one of the larger British Horsher Gliders. As an aerial ambulance, the C-47 could carry 18 stretcher cases and a medical crew of three. The C-47 was vital to the success of many Allied campaigns, in particular those at Guadalcanal and in the jungles of New Guinea and Burma, where the C-47 made it possible for Allied troops to counter the mobility of the light traveling Japanese army. Additionally, C-47s were used to airlift supplies to the embattled American forces during the Battle of Boston. Possibly its most influential role in military aviation, however, was flying the hum from India to China. The expertise gained flying the hum was later used in the Berlin airlift in which the C-47 played a major role until the aircraft were replaced by Douglas C-54 Skymasters. In Europe, the C-47 and a specialized Pratchett variant, the C-53 Skytrooper, were used in vast numbers in the later stages of the war, particularly to tow gliders and drop Pratchetts. During the invasion of Sicily, in July 1943, C-47s dropped 4,381 Allied paratroops. More than 50,000 paratroops were dropped by C-47s during the first few days of the D-Day campaign, also known as the invasion of Normandy, France, in June 1944. In the Pacific War, with careful use of the island landing ships of the Pacific Ocean, C-47s were even used for ferrying soldiers serving in the Pacific Theater back to the United States. The C-47 was delivered in large numbers to U.S. allies under land lease. It was built under license in the Soviet Union, where it was designated the Lysenov Li Chu and remained the backbone of the internal air transport well into the 1960s. After World War II, thousands of surplus C-47s were converted to civil ally use. Other C-47s remain in active military service and play a critical role not only in the Berlin airlift, but also in the Korean and Vietnam wars. In Vietnam, the C-47 served as a transport plane, but it also flew a variety of other missions, including ground attack as gunships, reconnaissance, and psychological warfare. Many hundreds remain in civil service today. My video of C-47 Skytrain answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.